Hi everybody, welcome to Monica Barnes Art. I am doing this round board today and I think it is no clue. But I don't know the size, but this is it. I primed it with house paint. And then I sprayed it with silver paint, but I kind of washed wash some of it off. I don't know. Like, as it was drying, I was touching it to see if it was dry, and it kind of came off a little bit. But I got my trusty little tripod stands. Love these guys. Everything I use is in the links below, except for this board. I got this from Home Depot. So, I am going to do a black board today with white. I want it very easy, very simple. So I'm probably going to cover all this spray paint up because I'm not happy with the way this turned out. Okay, so give me a minute. I'm going to mix up my epoxy. Today I am using East Coast epoxy. Whenever I do a small piece, I used East Coast epoxy. It only takes 20 minutes. You have 20 minute working time, which is not a lot. But... It's so much cheaper. When I do the big pieces, I use art resin that is very expensive, but you have 45 minute working time. So let me get started. I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna mix six ounces of this to six ounces of this to do this board. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to do a voiceover because I have my respirator on. This is Pearlex Gold. I'm just going to add just a little scoop into my cup and then put my resin in and stir it up extra good so there's no lumps or clumps. I have black diamond white mica powder that I'm using. A little scoop of this. And I'll be mixing that up with my resin. And I have black ink from Resin Obsession. Very concentrated, you only need like a drop. So be careful using this stuff, it's awesome. Buy a bottle, it lasts you a long, long time. I think I've had that bottle for like a year and I use black on a lot of pieces. That stuff you don't have to mix too well, uh, but the mica powder you have to mix extra good. Okay, so the extra resin that I didn't mix in with my colors, I poured onto my board and I just rub it around. It doesn't have to be perfect, believe me, because of the colors that you're going to add on to it will take care of that. And when you heat it, resin actually self-levels itself. So right now I'm just going to pour the black on and make the whole board black. Just rub that around and in real good. I do my edges usually at the end. But I will make sure <laughs> I got it on my wrist there. Um, I make sure that I always get the edges. I cannot sell a piece with the edges not finished. Especially a round piece because usually they don't frame them. And this is my black diamond white mica. And usually when I do a piece, I just add it to whatever I'm feeling at that moment. I don't have any rhyme or reason. I just do what I do. So whenever you create art, like any artist, just whatever you're feeling, go for it. It's so easy with this stuff. I mean, if you mess up, you do another layer. If you don't like it, do another layer. You know, I've done three, four layers on one piece with no problem. Actually, by doing multiple layers, you can have more of a 3D effect also if you leave some of the bottom layer showing through you can create like um, that awesome shadow a 3d effect where you can see the colors underneath the colors on top of colors I really like it I don't show too much of that on my videos because I'm doing quick 15 minute videos but once I get a computer I can do longer videos and sh show you more techniques
This was a very quick and easy painting that turned out beautiful. I absolutely love it. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments. I would really appreciate it. And if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Everything I've used in this video will be listed below, plus a whole lot more. If you're into resin and you want to know what supplies to buy, you can always go under my description, pull that link down, and go shopping.